folks, it's a beautiful warm day out there today, but things are bound to get interesting with all of the warmth we are building up. There's again that live look over DC. Look at all that haze off in the distance. You can't really see down the Potomac River very clearly. Likely some of that pollen being a part of that, but yeah, all the warmth and humidity is helping to lead to some of that haze. We also may notice the camera moving just a little bit. It is bound to get breezy this afternoon as we continue to bring in some of that warm, humid air. The wind speeds are already getting up to 10 to 15 miles an hour, and because it will turn breezy, that will help a little bit from keeping us to getting too hazy this afternoon. So a little bit of a benefit to that. Now we are starting to see the signs of that next storm system. Clouds are rolling in from the west as we see that get a little bit closer to the DMV. It's already producing quite a bit of active weather across the Midwest and the Great Lakes. A line of strong to severe storms stretches from Detroit down into Indianapolis and the rest of the Ohio River Valley, and this is going to continue to steadily push our direction so that as we get into the evening time, we are actually going to see a few storms clip into the mountains of Western Maryland and West Virginia. But for the most part, we're just going to be very warm, muggy and quiet today. However, tomorrow, that's when the cold front with this system swings in and we will see a line of thunderstorms, likely a few of those turning on the severe side. So we're keeping a very close watch on that before it does go back to cool and a little cloudy. Start out the holiday weekend, but things are looking pretty good as we bring back the sunshine for Easter Sunday. First and foremost, though, these temperatures, my goodness, we're already climbing into the 80s. We are likely to get into the middle, if not upper 80s before all is said and done again easily enough to break some records out there before the day is done. Now, as we get into the overnight hours and the clouds continue to build up, if you thought last night was mild with temperatures right around 60 degrees, gear up for tonight. Fans AC needed as we're going to stay in the middle to upper 60s and that mugginess factor, it's not going anywhere. And right before that cold front gets here tomorrow, we'll take one last jump back into the low 80s. But there you go. You can see that front sweeping through not a drastic temperature drop, but we do start to see things cool down back toward the 50s and the 40s by the end of your Friday night. So here you go. The Storm Prediction Center outlook again favors that stretch of severe weather back to our west. That green you see here, that's that level one risk where a few of those stronger storms could just barely drift into our western counties before the day is done today. But this is tomorrow. Again, we have not had an upgrade just yet, but that level one risk for severe thunderstorms is in place, mostly to the east. Parts of northern Virginia, central southern Maryland, the DC metro in that level one risk tomorrow. If we do see any strong to severe storms, it is just going to be the damaging wind threat that is going to be what we have to watch out for. And this would be the first time this year we deal with some severe weather. So DMV first warn day tomorrow for that threat, but after that, this forecast is quiet as can be straight into the beginning of next week.